Curta Trades here, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Car Scan Pro, and this is by Anova, and this is the 5610, which is an OBD2 um, diagnostic scanning tool for your car. And what this will do is this is, will plug into your OBD2 port, and it will let you check diagnostic codes, clear, check engine lights. And this one here will do a lot more advanced settings than a typical um, cheap scanning tool will do. This will do, go into a lot of the different systems like the ABS modules, the transmission. You can read live data streams. You can clear codes. You can do brake relearns, tire pressure monitor calibrations, things like that that you typically can't do with a standard normal scanner. And I'm gonna go over some of the different features and what is all included in the box and what my thoughts are on this product. If you are looking to purchase this, check out the link in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. With this Anova 5610, basically uh, what you'll do is you can use this USB-C cable to hook it up to your computer if you'd like to look uh, more in depth at the diagnostics. And then you use the OBD2 reader port here with the connection on the top. And you just push this on here and twist down these screws just like a VGA cable on a computer and this will help hold um, the connection port on here when you're using it and when you do go to turn your vehicle on to look at the codes you do want it in the on position so the vehicle does not need to be running it just needs to be in the on position if you have a push to start you don't touch the brake and push the uh, push button without your foot on the brake if you have a key you just turn it um, just right before to start your vehicle in the on position. And then you'll hook this up to your OBD2 port. Most of them are right underneath here. Just make sure you have it plugged in the right way and you plug it right in there and then it will power on. So it just pops right up here. It's on, you select your, English, your language that you'd like to do. This is the enter key, the center. You can use um, standard or metric um, units. You can also select your state and some of them um, this is basically for the smog check because some states have a smog check um, requirement for your vehicle. Some states don't do that. So you can put in your state so it knows what um, stats and different information your specific state requires for the smog check. So this also comes with the Repair Solutions 2 mobile app for free, which you can download. And it basically puts in your model year of your vehicle and the codes that you're getting through your reader. And it can give you some common solutions to fix that problem that you're having. It gives you a list of the most common ones. It also allows you to buy the parts that you need to fix those. So that's kind of a cool addition. Uh, it's kind of like a mobile mechanic that you can ask and figure out what's going on with your car based on your codes. Some of the codes aren't super um, specific on what you actually need to replace. So the different buttons, these that you cycle through the menus, these let you select the different options. This will erase codes. This checks your system status. This is a freeze frame for when you're in live mode. This skips to the live data mode where you can check out um, graphs of the information or a um, text version of it. Menu is basically like the back button and then this is the power button to link. So we can skip that and then we'll go to the OBD2 menu and you can go through the different systems. Um, and then when you go to the system menu, if you check OBD2, it gives you several options here. And then you can go through the ABS system, the SRS airbag, tire pressure, and some other scans like the scan module. These lights here, green means you're good. Orange means you'll have some minor faults. And red means you have some serious faults. Um, and then again, you press this button here to go to the next menu. And then if you go to the um, Subaru part, it will go to like the more specific parts for the engine and transmission to check the codes for those specific parts. ABS, you can check the error codes for the ABS specifically and these ones. Go to all module scan, it will go through a scan for all these. So if you click on the live data mode here, it will go through to show you the graphs of the live data. And you can check the live information. My car is not running, so they're all gonna be standard or zero. And then you can graph them um, by selecting them or, and select on here. Then you can add more graphs. And then you can drive around um, while this is sitting in your back seat, for example. And you can check them after you have driven around to see how they affect each other. So when your engine RPM goes up, what happens to the other metrics? So it's kind of cool with the live data and then that's when you can use the freeze frame. Um, then if you go to the service reset here, it lets you go into a lot of more detailed things like battery reset, parking brakes, steering angle calibration, tire pressure calibration, ABS bleeding, 
Um, there's tons of these on here, transmission reset, clutch relearn, fluid changes and, and uh, key coding and mobilizer. And depending on which car you have, it will have different ones in here. This one for my Subaru has 33 different ones. And it's got a lot of different options that you can do um, depending on what you need to do to your vehicle. So this does have a whole lot of different things um, in it and it's a really easy one to use. I like the screen, it's uh, simple to read. It's lit up. It's not a massive unit. You can use one hand really easy to use it and go through the different menus. If you have any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments. And if you'd like to purchase it, check out a link in the description.